ओके स्टूडेंट्स आई हैव गॉन लाइव एक्चुअली सो दैट यू कैन इफ यू हैव एनी डिफिकल्टीज आई कैन आंसर योर क्वेश्चंस बट देयर इज नो वन एज ऑफ नाउ इन द मीटिंग स्टिल आई थॉट दैट आई विल रिकॉर्ड दिस व्हाट एवर आई वांटेड टू कन्वे एंड लेटर ऑन आई कैन शेयर दिस एज अ वीडियो एंड यू कैन वॉच दिस वीडियो राइट सो लेट मी डू दिस yeah so um the question is i have given you a multiple regression quiz uh, comprehension quiz uh, wherein this yeah this particular uh, link is shared with you quiz is shared with you there is a problem x1 x2 and y these three values are given okay and you are required to solve these questions right so uh, first question is how many data points are there so data points means there are how many sets of values are there so one set is x1 is 0 x2 is 0 y is 15.1 11 17.9 12 12 7 21 25.6 like this how many sets are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 sets are there. right so the answer to the first question is 9 all right answer to the first question is 9 this is straight forward then what will be the expression for multiple linear regression so you know that multiple linear regression means more than one variable is involved right so when more than one variable is involved uh then you will get y is equal to a0 plus a1 into first variable plus a2 into second variable plus error now since there are only two variables x1 and x2 here we'll have y is equal to a0 plus a1x1 plus a2x2 plus e so the first option is the correct option right then when we next question when we say we are doing multiple regression what values are we going to find so i told you many times earlier also whenever we say regression whether it is linear regression logical uh, linear regression or multiple regression or any kind of regression our aim is to find out the Uh, coefficients of the variables so in this case the y is a0 plus a1 x1 plus a2 x2 so our aim is to find out the coefficients a0 a1 and a2 right so we will be given some values of x1 and x2 for those values we will need to find y so for that we will need a0 a1 and a2 so the answer to this question is when we say we are doing multiple regression what values are we going to find so we will find a0 a1 and a2 then how many simultaneous equations will be required so it is a very simple question there are three equations so three simultaneous uh, three unknowns a0 a1 a2 so three simultaneous equations right so this is the answer next uh, now the the matrix form which i have shown here is the equations are the three simultaneous equations in matrix form right so if i expand this i can write n a0 plus summation x1 i a1 plus summation x2 i a2 is equal to summation y i similarly i can expand the second equation and the third equation this is for your understanding this is for your understanding now you are supposed to answer the questions one by one so now for this given data set for this given data set x1 x2 y you are supposed to find out this matrix that means you have to find out n summation x1 i summation x2 i okay summation x1 i square summation x1 i into x2 i summation x2 i and so on x2 i square on right hand side you have to find summation y i summation x1 i summation uh, y i summation x2 i y i right so uh, based on that i have asked some question so what is the sum of value of sum x1 i okay what is x1 x1 is this line 0 1 1 2 2 3 3 simply add all these values that is summation x1 so 1 1 2 2 4 2 6 6 3 9 12 16 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 
5 plus 2 into 2 that is 4 so 5 plus 4 is 9 9 plus 3 is 12 12 plus 6 is 18 18 plus 4 is 22 22 plus 8 is 30 right so the answer to this question is 30 now these things we can do also using excel so i have used excel for doing this so i have simply written all the points x1 in one column okay x2 in another column and then i have used simple formulae to get to the answer right so for example i want to do x1 into x2 so x1 into x2 can be written as this formula f8 into g8 that is x1 into x2 so i get this right same way and apply the formula here this is this x1 into this x2 and so on so you do this multiply all x1 x2 add them up answer comes as 30 right the same answer we have given here same answer we have given here. now select the correct option from below which shows the values for the above matrix that means if i calculate all these values if i calculate n x1 i x2 i x1 i square x1 everything if i calculate all this summation y i summation x1 i into x2 i etc summation x2 i y i if i calculate all these things and then put in the matrix form which matrix i will get so for that you will have to calculate all these things now the first term which is required here is n okay what is n n is the number of data points n is the number of data points so how many data points are there nine so the n value will be nine now since you have only two options you can easily make out that this is the correct option but i expect you to solve uh, solve everything so again uh, whatever is being solved here uh, whatever is being asked here summation x1 i so that summation x1 i we have just now found it is 20 so i'll put 20 here similarly uh, the third value is summation x2 i so summation x2 i means addition of all x2 terms that is 12 here okay then what is the next value in the second row summation x1 i which is 20 then the next value is summation x1 i square summation x1 i square is 60 and so on. so i'll put all these values then a0 a1 a2 will be multiplied with this y is the right hand side so right hand side is your x2 i x1 x2 i x2 i square uh, sorry not this uh, right hand side is this summation y i summation x1 i into y i summation x2 i into y so all these things will be put on the right hand side okay so this is the correct answer option one is the correct now how do you solve this further so you need to find out a0 a1 and a2 you need to find out a0 a1 and a2 so a0 a1 and a2 will be equal to this matrix the green one z inverse multiplied by y right so first we need to find z inverse so which one is the z inverse so to find the z inverse what we can do we can use our octave okay so you can type this matrix in octave you can type this matrix in the octave and simply use the invz command which will give you the answer so if you do that you will find that option 2 is the correct option right and finally finally we will multiply this inverse of z inverse of this z with y which will give us a0 a1 and a2 and if i do that then my answer will be this one 14.4609 uh, 9.0252 and minus 5.704 right finally uh, i'll get the expression for y after regression what was my equation my equation was this y is equal to a0 plus a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus e right but now uh, i'll only write the expression for y excluding e because i just want to predict while predicting i will say that there is some error but i don't know the error because when you have the actual values you know the error but if you are predicting something how do you know the error right so we will not write e here so i'll write y is equal to a0 14.4609 is a0 plus a1 x1 9.0252 into x1 minus a2 uh, minus means plus a2 x2 so a2 is minus 5.7043 so minus 5.7043 into x2 i'll substitute this now if i put the value of x1 and x2 whichever value i would like to put i can find the new values so these are the values which are calculated after regression using this equation now you can easily find our original system our original values for x10 x20 what was the y value for x10 and x20 the y value was 15.1 but what is our answer showing 
it is showing 14.46 so there is some error okay then when x1 was 1 second value x11 x21 y was 17.9 now in our case if i put x1 as 1 x2 as 1 my value is 17.78 okay so you see there are there is error but most of the answers are close to the actual values right so this is the power of regression that you can get to fit a plane because we are using two dimensions so it's a plane basically so we can fit the data and we can get the answer uh, or predict the answer right so this is this particular thing is called as multiple linear regression i hope that you have solved this quiz on your own if you have not done so once again if you have taken the answer from someone just to fill the form if you have done that please don't do that this is not for your internal marks this is for the comprehension of topic and your understanding right so if you have not done it seriously please do it i am telling you the answers and please watch this video i will be sharing the recording as well as online so let us submit this okay and see what happens okay so response has been recorded view score right so i got 20 out of 20 because i framed the questions right so you see i have also given the feedback on every question so after submitting you will get the feedback right there are nine data points since there are two independent variables what is the correct answer okay so wherever the feedback is required i have given three unknowns three variables right so feedbacks are also given so please whenever now i'll be sharing the quizzes they are meant for your understanding purpose and for concretizing the concept or theory which we have learned so please use it that way only right so uh, thank you so much students i had only no no participant was there i hope you have all understood very well so that is great still i am sharing this recording with you and uh, you can uh, look at this and um, understand this in a better way